Hi, this is Nick Wigdahl with a report for Agri Insight. It's cold, it's wet, it's muddy, it's a raw day, which means it must be a sugar beet demo day. We're here with Agrifac and Excel Industries looking at Holmer and Agrifac machines. And in particular, we're going to be interested in the chaser bin, which Holmer have brought over on test for the UK for the first time. As ever, let's go and see the action. In the UK, Holmer has been selling beet chasers for around five years. The first group to purchase one was the Wickham Beet Group in Suffolk, who bought an old Terrados T2, which had had its lifting gear removed and renamed the Terra Transport. This they upgraded two years ago to a second-hand Terra variant, and this is the machine we see working here. Now Holmer are testing a brand new machine, the Transcart, two prototypes of which they made last year. The chassis is from Flegel, one of the largest trailer manufacturers in Europe, while the body is taken from the bunker of the new Terrados T340. The Transcart has a capacity of 20 tonnes and itself weighs 10 tonnes. This weight is supported by front tyres that are R710-50 with a 26, di 26 inch diameter and a rear set of R750-60 with 30 inch diameter. The size of the front tyre axles is restricted by the position of the unloading elevator, but Holmer saw no reason why not to go large on the rear axle. Operator for the day, Dan Constable, has an initial favourable impression. The transcart is easy to load as the bin offers a wide target area for the harvester. It's surprisingly manoeuvrable, and overall there's less stress compared to the conventional tractor and trailer with all its shunting back and forth at the heap. Air brakes are fitted as a standard, and the drawbar can move up and down to accommodate different heights of tractor. As with any chaser, plenty of grunt is needed up front, and today there is a 360 horsepower Fent 936 in charge. Unloading takes around a minute. The advantage of side unloading is that the tractor and chaser do not make ruts into which beat fall, which are then difficult for a mouse to pick up. One issue that has been picked up by the operator is that the towing tractor should ideally have a high output hydraulic pump, and ideally the single spool valve should be uprated by the engineers. The reason is that there is not sufficient capacity to operate the moving floor and unloading elevator smoothly. Why has Holmer entered the trail chase market? Converting old sugar beet harvesters has been a useful sideline, but their drawback is that they just do not move around the field quick enough, even after changing the gearbox. On the other hand, a Terra variant, while having high capacity and speed, is probably more money than a lot of contractors would be prepared to part with. The Transcart is fast, has a high unloading capability, and can travel on the road at 50 kph. The Transcart is priced at £85,000, serious money for a beat trailer if you consider that a highly spec triple axle conventional trailer will cost around half that. Against this has to be set the fact that chasers can keep going in the wet conditions, keep mud off the road and build good clamps for mouse type loaders. Lastly, there is an increasing number of growers who are asking for low compaction equipment from their contractors. The question to consider is how these undoubted benefits are shared between growers and contractors. We hope you've enjoyed this video from Agri Insight. Visit our YouTube channel Agri Insight for more analysis and follow us on Twitter. Our next programme will look at the use of triple axle trailers in the UK and will be released towards the end of February.